Rabbi Parry. There were 10 times as many Muslims and leftists as there are uh, pro-Israel supporters, both Christian, secular, and Jewish. Where are the Jewish supporters? Where are the Israel supporters here? That's my question. Where stand with us? Where are you, Roz? Preparing for your little dinner tonight and a little soiree, and you should be down here protesting with us, standing with your people and your country and your homeland, and you guys who can't even justify your existence by showing up a few hours. It would have made great film to show at your uh, dinner tonight, but the, the, it's pathetic. There's such apathy in the Jewish community. Uh, America Hanukkah said many times over the, the Jewish people are blind, they don't understand their enemies, they don't, they, they, they make the same mistakes over and over. No. They make the same mistake over and over again. In fact, America Hanna said, and I quote, the only thing that the Jewish people has ever, ever, have ever learned from their history is to learn absolutely nothing from it. Now, here you have a lot of people calling for, from the river to the sea, but there's the, the, uh, the green line where the, they uh, report that the Palestinian state should be drawn does not reach the Mediterranean Sea. Israel does. What do they mean by that? They mean the same thing they meant in 1966, Americana said. What did they want then? They had the West Bank, they had East Jerusalem, they had it all. So when they were, went to war in 67, what did they want? They wanted all of it. They wanted, it, it, Americana said if they wanted, if they had East Jerusalem and they wanted more, they wanted West Jerusalem and West Haifa and West Tel Aviv. They wanted all. They never are going to make peace. They never are capable of making peace. They are, they are absolutely bent on conquering all of Israel and slaughtering all of us. All these wars in 48 and in 56 and 67, 73, these were wars of eradication. They weren't wars to conquer, wars to conquer territory. They wanted the land. They claimed land as theirs historically or whatever, and they, ha they have a mandate from Allah that they have to conquer it, but they want us dead. They hate us with a blood hatred, and we have to stand up to them and not give them one single solitary inch and throw them all out. Are you saying that, that this, or, this is not just about Trump making uh, uh, West Jerusalem the capital? No, this is about any positive news for Israel, for the Jewish people, that lifts the bar, the heavy weight that's been put on the Jewish people uh, of late, of worldwide growing anti-Semitism and Jew hatred, anything that might lessen that, they're on top of it like, like gangbusters. They want to they silence it and, and nip it in the bud, because they know they're winning right now in the, in the, in the public opinion wars out in the, out in the world. Uh, I is the press, do you feel, a, a balanced in representing the, uh, the days of rage, what this is a part of here, uh, in, in reference to uh, the American Declaration? Absolutely not. From my, what I've seen, at least to here today, the, the, the press is solidly on their side. And it's not even the press, the police are on their side. They parked a police truck in here to block our view and obs, uh, obstruct us so we couldn't face, down, face them down. They didn't put it on that side of the street. They didn't put it down here so we can have a, a equal access. They, they favored them. We wanted to go over there to protest from there. They kicked us out of there. The police were on their side, the press. And how many people were on here, the pro-Israel side? I don't know, 20, 30, what do we have? We had nothing. How many hundreds were on their side? Two, 300, I don't know, I, I didn't count them. 200, let's say. They had 200 people to our 30. And uh, look, the bottom line is, justice and history is not on their side. Jerusalem was the capital of Israel under King David 2,700 years ago. That's 1,300 years before Islam even existed. Jerusalem is, Jerusalem is since 1967. Jerusalem is the reunited eternal capital of Israel, never to be divided again by war or, or diplomacy. We will not tolerate any of it. And we won't toler, tolerate our government giving it away. We'll fight them too. The other thing is the land, 
all of it is ours because God gave it to us. He didn't just give it to us. He commanded us to be in there. It's true. He kicked us out when the Romans destroyed the second temple. He put us in a 2000 year exile to punish us, but he's bringing us back since 48. He never broke the, the pact, the covenant. The land is ours. He wants us there. And we're just waiting for the right time to go there to take it over and truly make it a Jewish state. We can't do that now. So many of us are staying away because we're not able to speak out there like we are here.